honest book section. My platform from this, this book section stuff is like, I want it to, for the most part, be a book I've already read or I'm about to finish. But immediately there's a section here, quote unquote, of this book right here. Um, let's make sure. Smarter, Faster, Better by Charles Duhigg, Duhigg, who also, I will say, he wrote The Power of Habit, which a great book as well. Um, but I had to stop midway through this read here because there's this, this section that comes up on creativity specifically in this book and, and just being productive in general, the whole scape of the, the reading. There's a story in it though about creativity with the team behind the movie Frozen, the 18 months leading up to the movie and the drastic stuff that happened on the way and, and organization and then other like subplot stories that ultimately tell what the hell that team had to do to make the movie we all know and and how big it is and I wanted to bring up that the vit the vi vitalness of it the vital information about creativity because there's many anecdotes that will talk about a specific animator writer director it gets to this level about a person's sense of awareness of self with their emotions their feelings a bit of vulnerability a bit of power like what makes them feel powerful what makes them feel this way and why it does and it spoke to me on such a, a level of like, just as someone who writes a lot, if it's, if it's random lyrics, if it's just words that rhyme, if it's quotes, if it's an idea, I'm trying to make for like videos and shit. But what got to me, the biggest thing so far in this book is about just being aware of your feelings and how it correlates to what you may do, if it is creative or if it isn't creative. Just what, what it means to you and how you can translate that onto a piece of paper or the memo app you use to write your stuff on your phone it's it's important that there's this sense of you are on the page you are on the screen we there's many examples of people getting big and people being successful with shit that they may not be a hundred percent living or a hundred percent feeling they just know it sells or it sounds good by no means will I knock that hustle I can only say it from my perspective that I would want to put something out in the world where it's it's meaningful to me it's, it's something I'm passionate with and I'd be satisfied with that. Like, I want to die with some things like that. I'll, I will be throwing shit up there that, like, you know, just to have fun with and just to, you know, it sounds good and make for people and, and all that. But ultimately, I want I, w I do want my piece of the pudding to have some, like, really nice sweet parts of it. Some really very, you know, healthy, organic, vegan portions of it, if you will. But, but all, by all means, there's so many more stories in here, uh, Smarter, Faster, Better, by this, this author and this dude where I would just, it's, it's just a cool read on like being productive and creative and thoughtful and, and etc. This book, The Power of Habit, his previous book, just please check him out. Like I'll cover The Power of Habit down the line, but I will like expose a few other authors and books before that one, just, just to kind of mesh it up. So honest book section, smarter, better, faster book.